so the big five insurance companies, they there was a, a, a group called a PBM. Have you ever heard of a PBM? No. A lot of people haven't. It's called a pharmacy benefit manager. Okay, the PBM was brought out, I think, in the 70s or 60s. And the goal was to sort through all these new medications coming on the market. And they were a consumer advocate. The job of the pharmacy benefit manager was to go negotiate with big pharma and drive down the rates of these new products and new drugs so that patients could afford it. And it worked for a while. But what people didn't realize happened is over time, the PBMs began to negotiate rebates and they're covered by safe harbors. So we, the public, have no visibility. The federal government has no visibility. Nobody knows what the pharmacy benefit managers are getting paid. Here's what I mean by that. Insulin. Eli Lilly launched insulin. That's a hot button right now. Everyone talks about insulin and the cost of insulin. When Eli Lilly launched the product, they made $145 per vial in profit, all right, or in revenue. Um, it, since then, even though the price of insulin has tripled, Eli Lilly now makes less than, I think, $120 for the same vial. So the question becomes, wait, where did those additional dollars go? It's the same on all these drugs. What happens is the pharmacy benefit manager goes to the big pharmaceutical companies and says, do you want patients to be able to get coverage and use this drug and have it covered by their insurance? Then you've got to give us a rebate. We want $50 a vial. Or tw- I, think it, I think right now they're getting $30 an insulin vial or something like that is the, what the analytics say. And all this is also on the website. I put all this out there. So the pharmacy benefit manager is indirectly running up the cost of care because what they're doing is negotiating a cut for themselves. So then Eli Lilly and these companies go, oh, okay, well, we're going to raise our price by 25 bucks a vial so we can pay the rebate to the pharmacy benefit manager so we can get preferred tier pricing on an insurance plan. And so almost any drug on an insurance plan that's a tier one, meaning like that's the, the, a drug the insurance pushes you towards, typically has a rebate that goes to the pharmacy benefit manager. Jesus. And so- 